Well, I think it's fine Building jumbo planes Or taking a ride On a cosmic train Switch on summer From a slot machine Get what you want to if you want Cause you can get anything I know we've come a long way We're changing day to day But tell me, where do the children play? It's James here from GoodGuitarist.com, and in today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to play Where Do the Children Play by Cat Stevens. Now, I really like this tune for learning guitar because the sections are just two chords back and forth. Like the verse is just D to G, the chorus is just E minor to A, so it's really good for practicing that. And then if you'd like some extra challenge, it has that cool intro bit with a tiny bit of melody on top, which is a, a really neat way to go beyond the basics. If you need help with the mechanics of guitar itself, I have a free ebook. It's 100% free to all my subscribers, and there's a link down below for that. It goes over all the fundamentals of strumming and playing. So if you're newer to guitar, I highly recommend checking that out. With that said, let's get started with the chord shapes. First we have D, and then G, and the verse is just those two chord shapes. So switching from D to G, I recommend leaving your third finger down and just pivoting off of that. It makes the switch a lot simpler. You can just practice silently. And before we go any further, let's strum through the verse using downstrokes only, just so we can get used to switching and counting it all out. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Building jumbo planes. Four. One, two, three, four. Oh, taking the ride. Four. So the verse is just that, four beats of D followed by four beats of G. We do that eight times total. And before we move on and learn the rest of the sections, let's add a strumming pattern to that. The strumming goes, I'll do it slowly, three and four and. To learn it, we can break it down into two parts. First, we have down, up, down. And if we count out loud, one and two and three and four and, that falls on one and two. Downstrokes on the numbers, upstrokes on the ands. That's going to be true for any strumming pattern pretty much. Let's try it on a G chord going three and four and down, up, down and three and four. Down, up, down, and three, and four, and. The second half is down, down, up. So we have a down stroke on beat three, and then a down, up on four, and. And we can count that out as well, going one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. When we put it all together, three, and four. And down, up, down, three and four, and down, up, down, 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 up. Now let's change our counting to just one, two, three, four, and we'll speed it up a tiny bit. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. And if you find you're having trouble with this strumming pattern, I have a complete beginner's course which 
not only shows you how to comfortably switch between all the chord shapes, but it also has an entire section dedicated to building up your internal rhythm from scratch. So I recommend giving that a try if you'd like a little extra help with this. I also have a ton of lessons on YouTube related to building up your rhythm and strumming. So I'll put some links to all that stuff down below. Anyways, that's our strumming pattern. Let's put it together with our really simple chord progression from the verse. One time per chord. One, two, three, four. Three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Or taking the ride. On a cosmic. Cool, so that's the verse. Now we'll take a look at the chorus. We need two new chord shapes, E minor, and then A. Let's play them downstrokes only, four beats per chord shape, starting on E minor. One, two, three, four. Now we'll add the strumming pattern to that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Great, so that's the first verse and the chorus. Now, the second and third verses have a couple extra chord shapes in them. There's G over B, and that's just like your G chord, except instead of having our middle finger on the thickest string at the third fret, we're just gonna leave it off, and the underside of my first finger is lightly touching the thickest string. We also have a C add nine chord, which is basically like a G chord, except these two fingers, instead of being on the thickest strings, we bring them over one, and then we take off our pinky. So the tip of my middle finger is touching the thickest string, which mutes it. Then... And I want you to practice going between those shapes. You can leave your third finger down, makes it a lot easier, and we just go between G over B, leave our third finger down, you know, it might take some getting used to. These aren't absolutely normal chords that you run across all the time, but they are in quite a few tunes, so you will find further use for them. Anyways, we have G over B, going into C add 9. Otherwise, it's just D and G back and forth. So let's go through that. The second verse starts out the same way we play D and G. We go between those two chords six times, and then we go. Between C add nine and G over B two times. Let's play the second verse all at once now, starting off on D. A one, two, three, four. Fresh green grass For your glory lords Pumping petrol gas And you make a noise And you make them tough Here we go, C add 9 And the third verse is just like that, except we play C add 9 and G over B a couple more times. So it's pretty much the same thing. 
Now, that is the bulk of the tune. The only part we have left is the intro. And the intro goes a little bit beyond chords and strumming. You could simply strum the chords and ignore all that extra melody stuff, and that's totally fine. And if that's where you're at, great. At this point, you know everything you need to know to play through this tune. I recommend going to the start of this tutorial, to that demonstration, and seeing if you can play along with that. You could even slow it down with that little icon in the corner. You can slow down YouTube videos. You could play it at like 50%, you know, go as slow as you need to go. Anyways, the intro, the bulk of it goes like this. And that's based on the D and G chords. We start off on D and I strum it in a particular way. I'm just aiming for the thicker strings. You know, I don't want to hit that highest string. I want to save that. So I go like this, just hitting the thicker strings, kind of moving my pick outward like that. And then I do an upstroke, making sure to get that highest note. Just try that low strings and then the high strings. At this point, I remove my middle finger and I make sure that my other fingers are curled enough that the high E string can ring freely. And then I go. So paying attention to the thinnest string, open to open. When we put that together, low, high, open, to open. As far as the down and up strokes, down, up, down, down, down. Now I'm going to count it out super slowly and play it a few times. You can see it up above as well. We're going to go through it slow as we need to go. Three, four, and one. And then we could do the same thing for G. And the rhythm is identical to the D chord. It's just the chord and the notes are different. We're going to start with our G shape, but we're going to take off our pinky finger. We're not going to need it for this riff. We strum the thicker strings, just like we did with D. And the thicker strings of G are around here, you know. And then I'm going to remove my ring finger and I'm going to do an up stroke on the high strings. So low, high. And now I'm going to put my ring finger back. But when I put it back, I'm going to make sure normally we want our fingers nice and arched. But in this case, we want them kind of flat so that our high string is muted. We do a downstroke. And that should be the highest note since the high E string is muted. And that's going to be the trick with this one is having just those two fingers there and you have the open strings, and then you go to that, where we have our ring finger pressing the third fret of the B string, but also muting the thinnest string. And I would just try that a bunch of times. You're just kind of, see how my elbow is just coming in and out? In, out, in, out. When we put that all together with the strokes, we start off low strings, open on the high strings and then down, open, down. Three and four and one and two and three and four and. So practice just the D chord, just the G chord a whole bunch of times and then you go between the two. D, G, D, G. We go between them four times total. Let's try that nice and slow. One, two, three, four. Couple more times.
And now for the intro, there's an extra little bit of chord progression here. We're gonna go. And then back into our little riff thing. So let's take a look at those chords. We've already gone through all the shapes. We do our strumming pattern once on C add nine. Once on G over B. And then here we're gonna divide it between C add nine and G over B. So we'll do the first half on C add nine or the down up down part. And then we switch to G over B and we go down, down up. So you might wanna practice just that part going down, up, down, 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 up. One, two, again, four. Down, up, down, 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 up. And then for the A chord, we're just doing two down strokes. One, two. And then we go back into our riff. So take a moment with that strumming part. Take a moment with the riff part, and then we're gonna play through the entire intro nice and slow. One, two, three, four. So at this point, we've worked through every single part of the tune, and I want you to practice it the same way that we learned this song. You know, first doing the verse, then the chorus, then the second verse, because there's a couple more chords, then getting that intro down. Now, let's take a look at the order of the entire song. We start off with the intro, like we just played it. Then we have the first verse, which is D and G, eight times total. We have our chorus, E minor to A three times total. Then we do our riff again, going between D and G four times. And then we have the second verse, which we practiced, that has that extra C add nine, G over B a couple times. We do another chorus. We do another interlude, which is, it's the entire intro. So we do the intro again. Then we have the third verse, which is like the second verse, but we do C add nine and G over B a couple more times. Then finally we have a chorus, and then we do our riff, and that's the ending of the song. So you can see I have the chord order written out here, and I want you to write that down and listen to the song. And you know, as you're listening to it, follow it with your finger and be like, okay, we're at the second verse now. I hear that C add nine thing happening. You know, that's how you get a feeling for the entire song. If you need any extra help, don't forget I have my free ebook which goes over all the fundamentals, my complete beginner's course which takes that a step further, guiding you through the entire process from absolute beginner to confident strummer. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to help support the channel. Otherwise, have a fun time practicing and I'll see you soon.